it's day seven halfway through the trip now kind of slow because the weekends are when it's active and i only had like one good day of like doing stuff but tomorrow's friday so you know probably gonna go canyoning something really funny happened though i forgot if i was saying it on stream or here or in the vlog but i don't know i said that i was hoping maybe halfway through the week you know a chick would come and it's the end of day seven and guess what happened i was streaming a couple hours ago i hear mahabi talking to someone like giving a tour of the bathroom and the kitchen and stuff and i heard a female voice saying oh, okay thank you thank you did i just spiritually manifest this what the fuck like i'm literally a fortune teller so yeah we'll see what kind of girl she is tomorrow hopefully she's my age and another thing that's kind of weird i was looking through snapchat stories and i saw that someone i know here he posted on his story saying does anyone have a right airpod pro and you know what's crazy several months ago i found an airpod pro on the floor and i picked it up and i take it home it's been sitting on my desk for the past several months if the airpod pro i picked up was the right airpod i'm enlightened i don't even care like i'm literally enlightened and then this and then this chick just coming in halfway through the trip she just kind of plays out perfectly but anyway it's kind of late so i'm gonna go to sleep so i could get up and do stuff tomorrow all right so i'm just sitting here waiting for the train to start filming train station adventures live streaming so this train just got here and uh wait maybe we should just hit the other station okay i'm gonna switch to tsa real quick I was on my quesadillas. It's a little bit past midnight. So today I went canyoning. It was pretty wild. I thought canyoning just meant like hiking or something, but we just went on a whole journey down a lake, no, a river. Uh, by the way, when I was a little kid, I used to think rivers were lakes and lakes were rivers. I was really dumb. Rivers don't sound like they'd be a lake. And lakes don't sound like they'd be rivers. But anyway, I've just been like a creepy video person in the back. Kind of just recording everyone. Making it awkward, which is fun. I want to work on my smile so that like whenever someone looks at me, I can smile. I can have a smile that makes them smile so it looks good for b-roll. There was this beautiful girl there though. She was so easy on the eyes. While we were floating down the river, I accidentally touched her butt. <laughs> but, but yeah, but yeah, the canning was crazy. It was actually pretty dangerous. It was super rocky, like it definitely wasn't a smooth experience. Unlike her butt, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually didn't touch her butt. I just made that up as a joke. No, I actually touched her friend's foot because she couldn't swim. But I'm a swimmer, so, you know, helped her out a little bit. Got behind her. Behind? <laughs> no, but I got behind her and I, like, pushed her feet to that beautiful girl that I was talking about. And they were able to link and she made it to safety. But yeah, it was really fun. Also, I saw the girl that moved in here. I saw what she looked like. But yeah, she was kind of an older lady. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> I'm just playing. If she was like a girl exactly my age, then you know, maybe I might try talking to her, but yeah, chill day, um, live streamed. Got some food at the company. All the restaurants are closed here because quarantine. I think it's closed. I think a lot of the shops open up on the 12th, so, oh shit, perfect. It actually opens up today, so I can actually have some local food. This whole trip so far, I've just been getting uh, food at the Kombini. So I'm kind of getting tired of it. I'm like cycling through like all the different foods, but at least there's a decent selection. But yeah, it kind of sucks because it was kind of like in the back of my mind, you know, maybe I could try to talk to that girl. Because like after like every trip, after every journey, like rafting or canyoning journey, all the people like chill in the shop. It's like a cafe thing. They just got like juice and you could buy some drinks or food too. 
if you want. So yeah, everyone just like chills there for a while before they leave. So yeah, like I came up here to this room to come get my camera and then go back down there and you know, get some footage of everyone. I decided to lay down for 15 minutes and just chill. And then I went over there, but the girl was gone. Some girls just look simple, you know? They just look simple. They're just simply beautiful. You know, a lot of girls got all the, a lot of people got like all sorts of shit, you know? Even I got some shit, got some earrings. Shit, I don't even think I need these, you know? But I just like the simple stud, you know? But I don't like nothing crazy. You know, everyone got so much shit, you know? So much accessories and this like robust clothing, like all these little accessories and like devices and augmentations and just all this shit. But she was just simply gorgeous. Just simple, like, just nude. Not naked, but just, you know. I don't know, she just looked simple. And it was beautiful. I can't even say, like, a specific thing I liked about her. Just, she was just simple looking. Her lips were nice, I guess that's one thing. So, like, I've been watching Netflix, right? I told you. But yeah, in Jujutsu Kaisen, there's a character named Todo. He, like, asked the guys, what's your type of woman? What's your type? To tell what type of man they are. He can, like, tell if they're interesting or boring based on their preference. And, um... I was thinking about it, I was like, hmm, what's my type? You know, of course I like titties, I like booty, you know? If the shape is nice, if the size is nutritious. Of course everyone likes naturally, you know, pretty girls, you know? But like, if there's one thing for me, lips. My ex had big lips, shit. And it doesn't even have to be necessarily big, but like, that's all I need, just a nice set of lips, you know? Eyes always look good, so like, if she got nice lips, yo, that just makes the face for me. She could be kind of ugly, but if she got nice lips, to me, she's kind of beautiful. I gotta be honest. Like, it's just like a beauty, beautiful feature to me. I'm talking way too much about this. Anyway, speaking of lips, this chick's lips, I like these kind of lips. Oh, like a girl like this. She got like lips like this. Boom, that's what I want. So yeah, I could have accomplished the first goal today. You know, meet a girl. Man, that would have been perfect, but I'm... But I accomplished... Goal number three, face my fears. So like every day I skate to the gym and on the way there's this dock that people can fish in. But yeah, I just crossed by that dock and I just like randomly just had the urge to jump off it. So I just like went over there, took off my backpack, took off my clothes. I just jumped off and then I was like, I'm gonna just do something crazy. I'm gonna do a backflip. I've always been scared of backflips. It's like, I'm like a cat. When I try to do it, like I just like realign, you know, I can't just like, you know, just send it. But I guess, you know, it was time to fucking do it. Living my whole life being scared of backflips, that's some pussy shit. So yeah, I did a backflip. Pretty crusty backflip, but you know, I did it. And I did it over and over again. I did it like 10 times. It was scary every time. It felt like, like I was doing it for the first time every time, but I, I was doing it. So yeah, today, I did it off a cliff. I actually did it off an even bigger cliff. Like a really big cliff, like a pretty big cliff, like a pretty big cliff, but then with one extra big. It was a pretty fat cliff, it was a pretty thick cliff. It was a thick cliff, it was a thick lift. That was kind of an ugly backflip though, but but the one I did today was cleaner. I believe I can fly. It wasn't so scary today, actually. I kind of felt like a surge of like, hell yeah, like, you know, let's do it. Like, I just did it. I just felt a surge of courage and I did it. But the one on the cliff, that was the big cliff. That shit was scary. I don't even know how I did it, but I would say I faced my fears there. So one out of three goals completed.